The only country I know you can do that is Taiwan. And I think every country should have this kind. It's so convenient. Why the advanced country or third world country like France, we don't do that. We are third world country compared to Taiwan on these special topics. I'm not kidding. Taiwan is so much advanced. As foreigners in Taiwan, I would say that we all can agree that Taiwan is very convenient. Taiwan seems to be even more convenient now, actually, because Taipei Metro has announced the plans to set up umbrella sharing service, Ooh, nice. which they're calling uh, Rain Go, I believe. So at every single MRT station, you will be able to rent an umbrella if it rains or if, I mean, even if it doesn't rain, you can still rent it. That's a smart concept. What other kind of uh, conveniences have you found here in Taiwan? And what's your favorite public service here in Taiwan? Definitely the toilet. Taiwan toilet are amazing. And there's everywhere. They are everywhere. If you have a sudden, uh, how do you rush. say? Rush. You have a sudden <laughs> rush. Yeah. Even you are sick, you have a sudden sickness. You need to go to the toilet. Just stop at any MRT station. Go to almost any 7-Eleven, any Chenjia any place in Taiwan, they have toilet clean with paper, no homeless living inside. It can happen in <laughs> France a lot. Yeah, we come from France, yes. Yeah, no poo on the side of the toilet. You can sit comfortably, enjoy your time and just do what you have to do. Taiwan is so amazing for this. The public transportation toilet are better than my toilet in my home. I will not go to toilet in my home just to go to the public transportation toilet. That's how good they are. Okay, a few questions here. Sweden has clean toilets. Yeah. But we don't have free toilets. Not only are they available like everywhere, mm. it's also like free. I noticed that if you uh, scan your EC cards to get into the airport MRT, mm. there is no toilets after you scan inside Whoa. The, the airport MRT. Okay. But you can still like just tell them like, hey, actually like it's, it's 15 more minutes until the train comes. Can I just like go out to the bathroom? Mm. And they will like let you like in and out through the, the port. Yeah. Like that blew my mind the first time yeah. I saw that, you yeah. know? And I'm like, how can you trust someone that much? I had the opposite. I've had to go into an MRT station to use the toilet and they just let me in mm. for free and yes. out again. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but Taiwan, Taiwan is, is very strong for this. And I guess it's because they are also very good for eating and for food. The, the, the toilets are good for eating and food. No, no, no. I mean, Taiwan. <laughs> oh, yeah, there Ta was a modern oh. toilet restaurant. Taiwan, no. Taiwan oh, yes. is good for eating. You know, there is food everywhere. You can eat wherever you want, 24 hours a day. So it has to come out at some point. And I think they understand that very well. And it's a natural need. Yeah, it's real, guys. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's funny that you mentioned like the all the different like public toilets because this is a thing. Like foreigners just love public toilets in Taiwan. And like there were people who were like they make lists of where like the best public bathrooms in Taiwan was. Like one guy, he was like, when I was a student in Taiwan in 2010, I took all my poops at the S like near City Hall. Glorious restrooms. And then my favorite comment here is, um, I like to go to fancy department stores to act fancy and take dumps. <laughs> I like to think travel landmarks like 101 is at my service for my daily business. <laughs> True. It is okay. It okay. is okay to go to seven to go to toilet. I'm okay with going through to the MRT mm. and department stores, but I would not go into a 7-Eleven. Why? to use the bathroom without buying something. I think in Taiwan, you should consider 7-Eleven and Family Mart almost as public service. 24 hours, seven open. It's really amazing. <laughs> we don't have this in France. You are, it's 2 a.m. You need to buy something. You need to go to toilet. You need to anything. The only country I know you can do that is Taiwan. There is 7-Eleven every five minutes. And I think every country should have this kind. It's so convenient. Why the advanced country or third world country like France, we don't do that. We are third world country compared to Taiwan on these special topics. I'm not kidding. Taiwan is so much advanced. And speaking about something advanced that I also think that everyone should have access to, may I present the sponsor of today's video, Emma. If you follow me on social media, then you know that me and Minthia recently had a two weeks vacation in Thailand. But now we're finally back here, home in our own bed. Our Emma hybrid mattress to be more specific. And although I have missed the motion isolation feature, which means that me and Minthia finally can get an entire night's rest, even if some of us wants to go up to the bathroom in the middle of the night, the one thing I miss the most and my best memory of this mattress from Thailand is the memory foam itself, which gives me a firm sleeping experience and also makes sure that I actually wake up well rested every single morning.
and hopefully your memory is just as good as this mattress. So you do remember that we of course also have these customizable pillows as well that give you your own unique sleeping experience. And speaking about the Emma pillows, Emma now has a 99 shopping promotion on their website where you can get these pillows for free if you do buy an Emma mattress. And if you use my coupon code Lucas in Taiwan, you will get an additional 10% off the order as well. And we of course also have this 100% removable and washable mattress protector which works just as great with this hybrid version as the original Emma mattress. But regardless of which version of the Emma mattress you order, you will always have their 100 night sleep guarantee which means that you can actually try the mattress in your own home for 100 days. And then if you're not 100% satisfied, you can of course return the mattress to Emma for free and then of course get 100% of your money back. But speaking about returns, I think it's now time for us to return to the video and see what the other guests have to say about these amazing services in Taiwan. What about you guys? <laughs> you okay with going into 7-Eleven? Yeah, because I'm, I have a membership card for 7-Eleven, so I think it's... <laughs> oh, okay. I it's should like, go there. It's like a it's like the, if, you, if you have the open point card, then... Uh... Yeah, because I'm nearly every day at 7, so if I don't eat buy something now, I probably bought something yesterday. There's, there's this category of people who only feel comfortable going to the toilet in their own house or in like this one place that they are comfortable. And that's me. But there's a lot of people like me. So I think in 11 years in Taiwan, I have probably pooped in like public place less than five, six times. Like, yes, me too. It's not even once per year, you know? I never, I, I can wait. I never have like ladoods. I never have like issues. I can always wait. So if it's not at home, it's at work, it's never going to happen anywhere else. What? Yeah. But, but if you go to like an, a hotel? So hotel is, is the exception. That's why I said public place. Like so right. hotels, if it's one night, generally, yeah, it can wait. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> <laughs> but, but for real, like, yeah, like it, it, sometimes hotels, of course, I will do. But if I can avoid, I also avoid. Mm. You know, I, I don't understand this because... But wait, like, if, if you can't avoid, it's not like a choice. No, you it's can wait. Yeah, you can totally wait. Yeah. It's not a choice. It's, it's, it's like, not like wait, wait, so you, wait, 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 wait. So you like you would like you would be traveling mm. and you would be like, I only see Seven Elevens. Actually, I can wait until tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, because it's not like it's not like your body is is saying like this has to happen now. It's more like the body is saying, would you would you want to do it now or would you want tomorrow? And you can choose yes or no. Okay. It's it, it's not pushing or anything. It's, you can wait. Okay, maybe you should start drinking four cups of coffee per day. Then, then it's a different discussion, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. So I think everyone has different body. My body is just like code brown. You need to go now. And I just go now. <laughs> you don't want to, but so what's the blocking point? Is it a conversation we should have? <laughs> <laughs> we, can, we can save this for another day. Okay. But I, I would say two things for the blocking point. Mm. One is... <laughs> no, but I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. One is it's, it can be dirty, like you, you never know okay. what the person just before you did. So it, yeah. even though people clean often. Yeah, sometimes they don't eat soap on these. Yeah. It could be dirty and also the fact that, you know, it's not as bad as the US, but there's always a gap under the door. Yeah. You know, one time the guy next to me in the public toilet dropped his phone <laughs> and the phone slide <laughs> all the way to my toilet. <laughs> and then there was this super awkward moment where I just slowly <laughs> pushed back the phone to his part and he oh, took it oh. and no, no words, no words oh. exchanged. That was you! No. <laughs> you guys who are watching now, do you think it's okay to actually go into 7-Eleven and use the bathroom without buying something? I'm uh, super curious to, to find out what the Taiwanese mindset is. Anything else that we should mention? Absolutely go share with kosher you could go everywhere at any time and it was so convenient and cheap it's like a you bike for lazy people <laughs> <laughs> on point <laughs> remember we did like this other uh, game show talking about like gosher mm -hmm. and then it was surprisingly few taiwanese people who had ever used gosher mm -hmm. like it's it's like i mean back then at least it was like mm -hmm. maybe three years ago yeah i think so and it wasn't new back then it wasn't new it was like at least one it's year. been around for a while but it was like, I don't know how many it was. It was like very, very low. How many percent of the Taiwanese people have used GoShare, Wemo or iRent? 8% is the correct oh, answer. No. I guess one reason is also because many Taiwanese own their scooter. So they don't mm. need the rental thing to rent a scooter. Around me, most yeah. of Taiwanese have their scooter. So maybe that's one of the reasons not many Taiwanese use it. When was the last time you used the GoShare? Today to come here. <laughs> <laughs> 
And also, actually, you talk about the rental for Umbrella, but I think it was in a subway or I think it was in a subway, but I saw a place where people could put Umbrella that other people can take for free. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like what is it called? Sharing cost? Umbrella. C or? Courtesy Umbrella. Courtesy, mm. Umbrella. Courtesy Umbrella. That's yeah. the name. They have like 10,000 yeah. lost umbrellas. You know, I like, always forget yeah. my umbrella in the yeah, MRT or from, from in me. Seven or everywhere. So I always consider that any lost umbrella is a community umbrella. I think Taiwan is also thinking. How this. would you know if it's lost and if you see it outside of a store? I just watch it for 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> If, I, if, if it feels lost, then I... I ask them, are you lost? And they say yes. Dude, how many umbrellas have you borrowed from like 7 no. Actually, it happened once in a bus. I went in a bus and I went on the seat and there was no one. There was just an umbrella. So okay. I guess people forgot it from their from the seat. Or also in my gym, it happened to me. I went to the gym, I had my umbrella. I go out of the gym, my umbrella is not here anymore. So someone stole it or take it because it's a community umbrella. All umbrellas in Taiwan are community umbrella anyway. And I just asked the, the clerk, the Jian Yuan, to my umbrella is not here anymore. What can you do? They just gave me a new one. They have thousand umbrellas that people forget. I, I don't know if they have this in any other country in the world. An object that everyone has that you can ask for for free. They will give you and share with mm. everyone. In Sweden, in like every single like uh, student city, we have the same system with bikes. It's like what? bikes gets lost all the time in like the bigger like student you know, like university mm. cities and people is like, yeah, you know, if my bike isn't there, just I take just take another bike. I take like bike next to it. I understand you can lose an umbrella. You can forget your umbrella when you go out of seven. It's not raining anymore. How can you forget your bike? I think I think it might happen like Wednesday night at like 2 a.m. Okay. Like leaving the leaving the pub. Okay, so it's a drunk rental bike. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I see the point. I would say you bike. Maybe it's too common, the easy choice, but it's really like Gaucher, I love as well. Uh, but I just feel you bike was even before Gaucher. And I always thought it was amazing. For many years, I didn't have my own bicycle because I had a small apartment. I didn't want to get my own bike. You know, it would be not convenient. So I always used you bike. And I thought, how can it be so good? It cost five NT mm. for like half an hour or something. It's mm. so cheap. Every country should have this kind of system, especially in our generation where economy of energy is so important. Have a U-bike, cheap transportation system, which is no energy cost. Every city should have this, actually. And Taiwan, in so many points, is so advanced for these kind of things. I'm always amazed by this. There are also like portable chargers where you can rent. You can rent portable oh, yeah. chargers and there's an app like uh, GoShare or something. You can just take a charger and walk away, pay a price for uh, for an hour or a daily. I've yeah. seen those. I've actually never used it. Never yeah, used it recently. And it's really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It works f just fine. You were the one talking about this too. You were like, yeah, yeah. So I, I did a video being like homeless for 24 hours and I was in the F MRT station uh, using the I was charging my phone at the MRT station and there was this station of all the chargers next to me. And I swear, within one minute, there was four people ca coming to get one. So I realized I, I never use it, but I realized actually there's a lot of people who like this service. Yeah. That's I, great. I want to mention something. I don't know if it happened to you. Have you been to a washing machine? No, how do you call that? Levometic? The, the laundry mat? Landomat? Laundromat? La laundry mat. Laundry mat. Let's, let's agree it's laundry mat. Okay, laundry laundry mat. mat. Okay. <laughs> well, I've been to a laundry mat and you know you need to put a $100 bill pay for the laundry, but you only can pay with coin. And mm. on the machine, they had stock, uh, sorry, a pile of 10 coin where you just put one bill, take the coin and put the money to use the laundry. So Taiwan is so safe and the public kind of service are so amazing. They put the money on the machine directly. You just take and put a $100 bill. There is no machine to change the money for you or nothing. Oh, wow. First year in Taiwan, when I was a student here, and I was like, what is this country? How can this happen? Mm. Put money on the top of a machine and people just come. I'm just worried it's like this is your umbrella situation again. It's like someone has put it there for a reason. <laughs> you know, but this this no, no, money no. looks lost. I don't know. I, I, went with 10 I, minutes. Put, I put my $100 bill to exchange with the pile of 10 coins. Okay. You know, $10 was there coins. like an old grandma coming later and was like just pissed at someone like... 
I'm not sure because we, we had a lot of pile, you know, okay. on the machine in the morning. And people in France, you know, when we go to this kind of shop, they stay in the store to make sure no one steals their clothes. Mm. In Taiwan, no. They put mm. their clothes, they go away. Yes. No one steals their clothes. My my second apartment in Taiwan mm. didn't have like any laundry. So I, I did that like on a, you know, twice per week kind of thing. Yeah. And there was like no one was in the store when it was oh. like running. And it's like one or maybe like two hour program. And I also thought of that too. It's like, that's crazy but then no one can really like use my clothes in that one anyway so they're just like it was quite safe it's very easy to spot if anyone would like take my clothes yeah it's true thank you all so much for watching that was everything we had to talk about today but if you have any more news or updates or anything else taiwan related that you may or may not want to hear some foreigners opinions about please do reach out to our social media or just leave a comment down below and maybe we'll talk about that in the next episode but if you cannot wait until then you actually have another video right here and another one right here which you both can watch right now Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Lucas. It starts with L as in like, ends with S as in subscribe. Please to both and see you all in the next one.